Okay, so five ways or tips to help manage toxic relationships whenever they occur in your life. They are not very comfortable to endure and they're not easy to manage in any shape or form. In fact, most of these experiences can severely mess with our heads and our emotions a good deal. Quite often, toxic uh, situations occur and narcissistic situations occur when you've got to know someone fairly well and out of the blue, they suddenly behave in a rather strange way. This happened to me recently when I uh, was due for a meeting and the person didn't show up. I waited and waited and I knew that somebody else was also waiting for this person, but no joy. So after some considerable amount of time and feeling rather exasperated, I thought, aha, something's going on here. This is a little bit of a red flag. And this seemed to be out of character somehow. So you immediately think that something's wrong, something's happened to the person. Um, and when I met the person, there was no apology. Nothing was said about it. And the person was very light-hearted. And you can only think that if they're not bothering to say anything about meeting me or meeting the other person they were due to meet and they're just carrying on that something is seriously wrong. Uh, she said, oh, I didn't get your couple of texts that you sent when she finally did turn up. This flags up something that we should sincerely take note of. You might think that it's you even that's that's got something wrong then you're going to think what's going on what's happening is it me is it them so we need to put this in perspective and we need to start recognizing what we can do to manage this so the first tip is to recognize Recognise that something is going on. Recognise that something is happening. If you've been fairly well established in a relationship with someone and then something happens that's, that seems to be out of character. Now, first of all, you're going to think, why is this happening? Is there something wrong? Is the person all right? That's normal to think about that. But if you can eliminate all of those normal things, then um, it's useful to purely, simply recognise that something different is happening. Clock it. And that's the first stage. Some people don't even do this. Somehow we have a way of letting something fly past us and, and that's not really a good thing to do. We really do need to understand what is going on. Okay, so tip number two is realising what is happening. I'm using the word realise because I want us to get real, realise, realise it. It's real, it's happening, it's going on. And getting real with something means we're not going to shrug it off or push it away or think, oh, well, never mind, I don't have to deal with this. It is happening, you've recognised it. And now we need to say, OK, this is actually happening. It's real. So realise it. Number three, regulate. Now, you might think that this is a somewhat strange word to use. But by using this, I'm intending to help you to put it in perspective. Put the experience th that you've had, the person that you're having the experience with, in perspective make it i did come across this actually it said make something that's been previously illegal make it permissible by law put it in perspective manage it it's really another word for management we can manage what is happening by placing it it's like having bad apples i suppose in a batch of good apples you've got one bad apple 
and you're, you're placing it in a position where you say, that one's bad. I don't know if I should use that. I, I've got to weigh it up and have a look at it and see how bad it is. So this is what I mean by regulating something. So with number four, we need to retain the experience, remember it. If we retain the experience, which is all part of cataloguing it and putting it into perspective, then we can draw off it. We can call upon it another time. And so if it happens again, then we're going to be able to think, ah, oh, this happened before. How did I deal with it before? What did I actually do to help myself feel better? We've got to remember it. We can't just push it aside. So retaining it, remembering it, being able to recall it so that you can put another set of strategies in place for managing it is a really, really good thing to do. Now we come to the final one, number five. I'm using the word regenerate. A lot of you are going to think of <laughs> Doctor Who when he regenerates, but that's precisely what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the old Romany word parava, which really means transform. It really means change yourself. If we see these five ways of dealing with toxic people and toxic relationships as a cycle, then we could see that we could go around again and we could exercise what I've suggested again. But we can't do that unless we make some sort of transformation inside ourselves. So we have to regenerate. We have to change who we are and what we are. Think differently. Look at things differently. Weigh it up differently. See it as it is. See it as something external to you. Don't push it inside somewhere. This is what I meant by regulate. Don't push it away. Just have it out in the open to yourself and see it as it is. But then you've got to continue with just a little bit of caution. You don't have to have conflict with them. It all depends what sort of person you're dealing with. If that person is really narcissistic, then you're going to be in for a rough ride, an even rougher ride, shall we say. We seem to have talked about what we should do, but we need to talk about how we do it. By far, one of the best ways is to just take note of everything I've said here. Become aware of what is happening. Catalogue it. Remember it. And if you start to do this, you're really going to find it beneficial when you come to having this experience again. And it's likely that you will have this experience again because we're not going to stop these kinds of experiences. So just become aware of what is happening when these things occur and you will help yourself feel a lot better. Simply don't allow toxic people to overpower you. Don't allow them to take you for a ride. They're all hiding behind a mask usually and you see the good side before you see the bad side. And as long as you're aware of what they're doing, you're gonna help yourself enormously to cope with these kinds of experiences. So you've got to look at it square on, stand back, see how you need to proceed, possibly with caution, possibly in a neutral way, and then you can hopefully look after yourself and have a much better way of managing yourself in your dealings with toxic people.